I never fully understood the importance of water until I started to build my homestead. Water is something I always knew to be there. We use it to wash and nourish our bodies, our clothes, our dishes, our dogs, and our homes. We use it in the gardens for our chickens and for the food we eat. But once you make the decision to live in an environment where clean water isn't as easily available, you start to look at water in a completely different way. When we chose this property to build our homestead, we knew that the way we acquired water was going to be very different than anything we had ever been used to in the past. We both lived in areas where there was city water. You pay a utility bill and can use as much as you want. There seemed to be an endless supply, so you grow to depend on that, knowing the water will always be there. Here, we have a well, only it's a shallow well that produces about 50 to 70 gallons of water per day. It sounds like a lot of water and ideally should be for most, but it's not nearly enough to sustain our home and current lifestyle day to day. So we have to have water delivered to us by truck every few weeks. This didn't seem like an issue at the time, but when it's in the middle of winter and the cistern lid is frozen and you have to use a blow dryer to thaw it out, only to hope you get a water delivery that day by one of the only two men in the area who has access to it, it really makes you stop and think. We wake up around five in the morning. One of the first things we have to do is to tend to the water. We stumble down into the basement, turn a knob that allows water to come into our cistern from the well, turn on the power switch that controls it and wait a couple minutes for the water to finish cycling through into the cistern. Then we turn off the supply until we repeat the same process again later in the day. Being more and more self-sufficient on this homestead is something that we have been striving for. It's one of the many reasons why we decided to start this journey to begin with. Being in the Midwest, we get a lot of rain, especially in the spring and early part of summer. We wanted to try and collect as much of the rainwater as possible to reduce the amount of water we were using in the gardens and for the chickens. But then we started thinking about how amazing it would be to have rainwater go directly into our cistern after running it through a pre-filter to then be filtered again by our whole house water filter system so that we could use it instead of relying on the water deliveries. That's what we plan on working toward more long term. But for now, we purchased two 220 gallon water tanks, one for the front of the house and another for the back. We also purchased a 150 gallon rain barrel for the greenhouse. This will allow us to collect rainwater to use for the gardens and chickens, as well as to offset some of our drinking water by running it through a Berkey system.
Having clean, filtered water is important for our health. It's also important for the life of our planet. We humans are made of over 70% water. In fact, we start out life being 99% water, as fetuses. And when we are born, we are 90% water. So throughout our lives, we exist mostly as water. We need it to maintain life. It transports energy throughout our body and throughout the earth. So much mystery and magic in water. Sadly, there are a number of contaminants such as herbicides, pesticides, pollution, heavy metals, arsenic, pharmaceuticals, and fluoride that can cause harm to our bodies. Using contaminated water for drinking, eating, bathing, and growing our food hurts us and our planet. Everything is beginning to take shape here on the homestead. We've been busy building out the garden beds, adding more fencing to our garden to help keep critters out, and making this land functional yet playful and beautiful. There's still so much work to do, especially over the next couple weeks before I begin transplanting many of these seed starts into the ground and begin direct sowing. I can't wait to start working in the gardens and watching the homestead transform.